Hey everyone, my name is GamerCory and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial video. Now, this one is going to be for an AFK fish farm that you guys can see behind me. This thing is extremely overpowered and does work in survival Minecraft for 1.14 or pretty much a lot of the other ones as well. So this is the one that I've been using in my survival world. I definitely recommend that you guys stay tuned and I'm gonna design it here for you. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. All right, so let's get into the building of this AFK fish farm. So everything that you're gonna need is down in the hot bar selection down below. You guys can go ahead and use any stone block that you want or just any block in general, doesn't really matter. Cobblestone, stone, whatever, doesn't matter. Then you're gonna need a note block. So that's gonna need to require a little bit of redstone, just one redstone dust to create that. A hopper, a chest, a water bucket, a fence, an iron trap door, and a heavy weighted pressure plate. Now that's all you're gonna be able to, that's all you need in order to actually get this AFK fish farm working. So let's go ahead and start building this thing. So what you need to do is start just by digging down one. And this is where you're gonna put a double chest. And right next to the double chest, you're gonna put the hopper and it's gonna be facing into it. So crouch and put that in. And you're gonna see that the uh, bottom in the spout is going into that chest. Now here, you're gonna dig down one again. So otherwise you could just do four one by each other. Now on top of this hopper, go ahead and squat again or crouch. Go ahead and put your fence there. Now where your fence is at, you're gonna go ahead and put your water bucket. The water will actually flow down into the other side that you created here. And that's why it won't go pretty much everywhere. And this is all thank goodness to um, having the entities being able to be flooded out there a little bit. At the end of this, you're going to put your note block. On top of it is where you're going to put whatever block that you want. So go ahead and crouch and put that there. Now, you're pretty much done with this thing. You just have a couple of other little things to do here. You're going to put a trapdoor right there on that block that's right there. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to go ahead and put this weighted pressure plate right there. Now, on top of that, all we need is our fishing rod. And it can be any fishing rod. Now, obviously, once you start doing this for a little while, you'll start to catch, you know, your different kinds of uh, enchantment books. You'll get different um, rods that you can actually create and mend together. But what we're going to do is all you have to do is stand really close to this and go ahead and fish. And you're going to see that when you actually do that, the iron trap door will actually open. Now, you don't necessarily need to have that stone that's on the top of the note block there but what's the reason that it's there is so that you're not constantly making noise by hitting that note block because otherwise you're going to get the dum 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 all the time with that note block and what we're going to do is we're just going to wait until we actually catch our first item maybe we'll get something really lucky but there we go we actually caught something right there and if we look in outside of our chest we already caught ourselves a rod cod raw cod Ooh, say that 10 times fast so and now if we just do it again we can actually just stand back here and just make sure that you're actually pointing your cursor at the note block and then the actual lure will stay on top of that weighted pressure plate which is actually in theory making the the iron trap door open up so i'm hoping that maybe we can catch something different or something really good like maybe an enchanted fishing uh pole or maybe we can catch ourselves a book but you can get pants you can get um leather you can get uh lard and flesh and you can see how many times that i've already caught things with this now if you put something on your mouse or even write a macro for your mouse you could actually just have it thinking that it's just sitting here doing this for non-stop now this is a great way that i've actually made my survival world so much better and this is how i've gotten so many of my enchanted books is because i've let this thing go overnight or when any time that i'm away from the keyboard for an, a, you know, a good amount of time. So once we catch our next item, we're going to see in the chest what items that we actually did get from this. And then I'm going to show you actually how to go ahead and expand this. So you can see here that we've already caught two raw salmon, a puffer fish, and two raw cod. Now, worst case is if you actually don't catch, us, catch any of the other items, you're going to get water bottles, you're going to get bowls, uh, you're going to get so many items from this. It's going to be absolutely fantastic, but it's a great food source as well. You don't really have to require any other types of water uh, for like different farms. You just throw it into a furnace and you're good to go and you're going to get cooked you know, cod or cooked salmon. Now, if you guys do want to make this expandable, all you have to do is actually dig down below here. And what we're going to do is actually just dig down two. And then what you need to do is you need to put your chest down. 
like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to face each of these iron hoppers into the chest like so. Now what's going to happen is it's going to, when it comes down, and I'll actually show you guys here in just a second, but when it comes down through this, it's actually going to go to the bottom chest first. So if we stand on top of this, now if you guys are doing this actually in a survival world, what I definitely recommend that you do is just craft up a couple trap, regular trap doors, and then just go ahead and put those on top of here like so. And then you can stand on top of this and then you can make your ladder down and then just go ahead and drop down here, get what you need, and then come back up top. That's pretty much what I have in my world as well. All right, so let's go ahead and actually grab our fishing rod um, from our area here. So let's go ahead and do this and let's go ahead and just throw it on there. And I'll show you guys that our next item that we do catch is going to go to that bottom chest and maybe it will be something very special for us when we do catch our next item. But if you guys do enjoy videos like this, then please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot is, and it would be greatly appreciated. And it also shows me that, guys, that you want me to make more tutorials like this in the very near future. So hopefully this does help you out. And there we go. We caught our next item. So let's just go ahead and drop down here and see what we caught. We got ourselves five ink sacks. So we did catch something a little bit different, which is fantastic. Again, I hope that this helps you guys out. And if it does, again, like, comment, and subscribe down below. It'll help me out a lot. And it's greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.